the residents. For information, as you go in, the, uh, the living room area is right as you go enter. So the, the couch that we're talking about where the victim was on was on the immediate left-hand side. Are you able to open the door? No. Acting Guam Police Spokesman Lieutenant Arthur Polino said the stabbing happened inside this second floor unit at the Pacific Gardens Apartments in Dededo. When police arrived here last night, just before 8 p.m., they found a 26-year-old Chukis man sitting on the couch, bleeding, unconscious, and clinging to life. When officers arrived uh, at the apartment, they discovered a male individual, male Chukis in his 20s, had blood at his upper torso area. He was unconscious, but had signs of life. Guam Fire Department medics performed life-saving measures and transported the victim to Guam Mori Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. The stabbing inside the apartment was preceded by an angry verbal exchange outside. According to witnesses here, officers determined that it was a verbal altercation between the victim and the suspect. The altercation occurred outside of the apartment. The victim was here visiting acquaintances at this apartment. When the victim returned into the apartment and entered the residence, closing the door behind him and he sat on the couch, according to the witnesses inside the apartment, the suspect then forced his way into the, into the residence and began attacking the victim. The renters of the apartment then were able to pull the suspect off the victim and instructed the suspect to leave. They thought it was just a fist fight. When they looked at the victim, they noticed he was bleeding from his upper torso area. Uh, witnesses downstairs. So the stabbing occurred inside the apartment. It did occur. The stabbing occurred inside the residence, yes. The residents of the apartment where the stabbing occurred have moved out. We spoke with some neighboring residents who heard the commotion but didn't see the crime. The police were walking around looking for something, and, but they didn't tell me what happened. So they were just asking me if I see some, some guys, but I don't know. That's all they were just asking me if I saw anybody here. You didn't see anything? I didn't see anything. Did you see police? <laughs> no, a security guy. What did he say? He said somebody died there. He was scared. Mm. You didn't see it though? I didn't. You, you, you didn't hear anything? That's her from the security guard. Witnesses down here later reported to police that they, they saw a male Chiquis running from the area uh, wearing a black bandana, a white shirt, gray shorts, and uh, walking uh, behind the apartments here towards the, towards the American grocery area. Did the suspect and the victim know each other? That is still being determined at this time. Uh, we do not know what was the relationship between the suspect and victim other than they were having a verbal altercation. We do not know at this time what was the reason for the, uh, what was the verbal altercation about. Lieutenant Paulino also says there may have been a third person outside the apartment who may have been involved in the initial verbal altercation. There may have been another person that were that were uh, that may have been involved or may have actually stood by as the verbal altercation took place and this is why we're asking the general public if they had seen anything particular with the victim uh, and uh, the suspect any fighting a verbal altercation pushing shoving down here down in the parking area Pacific Gardens around that time frame between 7 30 8 p.m. Please contact the Guam Police Department for more information. Kevin Kerrigan PNC News.